Bonjour, everyone. Welcome to the Big Smoke. Right then, thought I'd bring you with us here. Oh, just before I even get into it, just uh, have a look at this Instagram story from myself of where I am. You know, it's not always a penthouse thing. Sometimes it's a snooze box thing. Mom creased me like, let me have a look what my room looks like in here. Fuck it now. All aboard? I fucking the idea what I expect you like. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, Jerry. Where's the fucking shower? Are oh, you alright? Oh, yeah. That'll be living like an astronaut, mate. That's right. That's right. We're living like an astronaut. We're living like an astronaut tonight. Shipping containers. Welcome to London, bitch. £55. See you at night. Bargain. Right, so why am I in London? I am in London tonight because I've been invited to an event by Robbie, Don Robbie, EFTV Robbie. They're having a 1 million followers party. They've reached a million followers on Instagram and Twitter or whatever it is and they've invited me along strict guest only invite so buzzing with that, grateful to Robbie, looking forward to it. hopefully there'll be plenty of familiar faces there from the YouTube game looking forward to a good night, looking forward to it, so big up Don Robbie, shout him out, shout EFTV out and well done obviously hitting that many followers, unreal, unreal one day, one day lads and lasses, eh? the Jolly Revolution, the Saudi mags, we'll get there so it's half two, I've got quite a few hours to kill and I thought I'd rather sit outside and have a beer the drafts aren't working, so we'll give us a bottle. Um, it's quite nice in London, actually. Quite sunny, not too cold, a lot warmer than up north. But I thought I'd kill a few hours, do a video out here yeah, before I have to get ready, get changed, and get to that venue ASAP, please. <laughs> nah, it actually is out yeah. It sounds, to be fair, the people are sounding. It's a, it, you know, if you only have for a couple of nights or whatever, it's, sound, it's decent enough, you know what I mean? You see, you've got a bed, it's clean, it's modern. It didn't be a pretentious one, yeah. Right? Just enjoy yourself, have a laugh. Somewhere to sleep in it, got a roof over your head, be grateful. Right? Don't know what I'm talking about me or you, like everyone there. There's a note for you. And the location's unreal, straight up the DLR, right next to the Olympic Park, right next to the Olympic Stadium, West Ham Stadium. Be going there next year, I think it is, we'll play them. Anyways, point of this video is Eddie Howe. How will Newcastle United play? See what I did there? Everyone's been doing it. It's getting boring now. Is it? I don't know, I think it's still. How was the bang, did you say? Still funny, still gonna, still gonna roll with it. Eddie Howe, first game in charge. We are just three days away before we play Brentford at home, before Eddie Howe. As his first match in the home dugout for Newcastle United. Buzzing for it. I'm coming back with Newcastle. It's Wednesday now, Thursday tomorrow, I'm coming back with Newcastle. And I'll be there for the Brentford game. Really looking forward to it. Looking forward to seeing Newcastle play well for a change. You know what I mean? Hopefully, see Newcastle on the front foot, have more possession, have attack, go for a win. Looking forward to seeing what Eddie Howe has been doing the past couple of weeks on the training ground with these lads. It's interesting to see what Callum Wilson came out and said today about training. He says it's completely changed. He says, Eddie Howe's hit the reboot button on Newcastle already. He says everything's completely changed. And that's obviously for the good, I'd imagine. Probably not for them, because they're all absolutely knackered now. They're actually having to work hard. He says the intensity is fired right up. The demand, the expectation, the discipline. Callum Wilson obviously knows all of this from his time at Bournemouth with Eddie Howe. He says he's implementing it now at Newcastle. So I kind of wait to see the effects this has on the players, the fitness levels. The demands in the game, how we play, our style of play. Question is, how will we play? Probably 4-4-2, if you look at Eddie Howe at Bournemouth. That or a 4-4-1-1. Either way, it won't be five at the back. Either way, that's a massive improvement. And it won't just be sitting back. Callum Wilson and other Newcastle players have highlighted the fact that in training this week, he has changed it a lot and there is a lot more demand on the body now and the fitness levels have got to improve for everyone because they've been used to sitting back. That's what Callum Wilson said. They're used to just sitting back and the fitness levels, your energy levels go down from there. Basically says everyone's fucked. Everyone's absolutely knackered. No one's got the stamina anymore. How's changing that already? How's making sure these players are running their socks off? We're gonna to expect to see a lot of pressing, hopefully on Saturday and going forward, pressing on the ball, intensity in our play, more attacking. Eddie Howe's already said he wants one the front foot. He said in previous times at Bournemouth, in interviews that he plays to win games, not to not lose them. So obviously many times for years under Bruce and Rafa, Newcastle went into a game trying not to lose it. You know, Chelsea away or even teams at home. Even teams at home where we've just played, sat back, soaked up pressure, tried to hit on the counter. That's the end now. That's the past. We're in the present now. Look forward to the future. Eddie Howe's future. Howe's mags. Right? We're going to be a completely different side now. 
and I can't wait for it. I honestly can't wait for Saturday to see how we play. Now it's not going to happen overnight. We're not going to change overnight. We're not going to turn up on Saturday and be playing like Barcelona 2008, right? But we are hopefully going to be playing with four at the back. We are going to be hopefully having more of the ball. We are hopefully going to be having some intricate passing movements and some better set pieces and looking to make chances more and score more goals, get the shots on target, create more passes, everything. Everything should be on the up on Saturday. So I'm absolutely buzzing for it. I'm going to have a match preview coming fully on Friday, I think, when I'm back in Newcastle. So look out for that one. But this one's all about how we play. Well, we will play with 4-4-2 or 4-4-1-1. Now, it's going to be interesting who takes them positions. Joe Linton's been doing a lot of work. Is Joe Linton going to be up front? There's a front two with Wilson. He's been taking up a lot of extra training, which is great to see from J7. He's been doing a lot of analytical work. He's been doing work with an extra coach after training. He's been doing work in a video room, analyzing things, how he can get better. So at least he's graphed, at least joey has got the right heart and the passion and the determination to succeed. That's what we want to see. He can't knock that. He can't knock his work right now. So hopefully he can improve on Eddie Howe. Will we see changes at the back? Well, surely he will, because we won't have five at the back. So someone's someone's getting missed out. Um, no more wing back. So where does that fit in for Manquillo, for Murphy, for Richie? Does Jamal Lewis come in? Being in incredible form for Northern Ireland. So does, is he going to get a shout in Eddie Howe's new system? Will we be changing up the field? Will we see work finally starting? Will Almiron has been on international duty? Will De Braffa come back in the goal? Um, or is he going to play maybe a 4-4-1-1 with St Maximum behind Wilson and St Maximum working hard behind the lines? I mean, you'd, you'd probably not expect that because it's going to be interesting to see how ESM gets on, really, when he's asked to do a lot more than he usually does. But yeah, those are the two formations we're going to expect. The style of play we're going to expect is pressing, intensity, possession base from defence midfield attack build up the play integrate work from set pieces we've seen Bournemouth score a great set piece against Newcastle last time Eddie Howe was in charge where someone ran the front post diverted it passed it to Harry Wilson who smashed it in what else has he been doing for us that wise no brave be on the front foot create chances and try and win the game like I say this could be an interesting game this 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 could be a high scoring game because Brentford aren't scared Brentford are a brave side we've seen that already in the Premier League you know so it's going to be interesting to see how these battle out and Five nil Newcastle. There's merely a prediction. It's not even in the preview. There it's five nil, two one. It could be anything. It really could. It's going to be super interesting to see already how he gets on his first game. What we can, what he's going to make Newcastle play like. That's what I'm saying. Right, I'm waffling. I'm waffling. The preview's coming on Friday. I'm here in London. I'm going to have a couple more of these. Get show, get change, get the O2, and have a good night with everyone. Um, I was thinking about vlogging it, but I'm not. I'm just going to enjoy it. Follow us on Instagram at matty.tmc, and you'll see some stuff on my story there with. Some big names, I'd imagine, at this party tonight, so I'm absolutely buzzing for it. Do a bit of networking, do a bit of drinking, do a bit of good timing. I need it. I'm looking forward to it. All right. Just watching everyone, drop your comments below. He's expecting to see if Eddie Howe's style of play on Saturday against Brentford. Must win game, mind. Must win. Subscribe to my channel TV and enjoy yourself.